It's a nice sunny day, so I thought I'd show you guys my solar and my radio. I think for preppers wanting to go off grid, those are the kind of two primary things to get sorted. I will state now that I am not an expert on solar. Um, my go-to DIY girl, um, who was, I think she was only 13 at the time, um, sorted out my panels for me and, and wired it all in and fixed it all up. I'd been living without electricity for a few years before that um, and relying on power banks charged in houses. So these are my two lovely panels that were both gifts from friends. Um, it's amazing what community does, guys. Community is the way forward. As you can see, this one is absolutely perfect. Um, and then this one over here is, you can see, a little bit cracked and a little bit damaged, but it still puts out 26 watts. And between, well, after going around, around December, going towards the solstice, it really, really did make a difference putting the extra one on. So don't discard damaged panels. A lot of them will be sold second hand um, and that's because at the big solar farms you get a lot of ones that need to be exactly the same so if one gets damaged they have to scrap a lot so you can get them cheap. Um, look at Bimble Solar, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description for that for you guys. Um, and then this is my aerial so it's attached to a scaffolding pole um, and yeah it's 36 foot long. Um, so it's absolutely brilliant. I can, I can, yeah, keeping in touch when you're off grid is important. Obviously I do have a phone and I do do the civilization engagement, but, um, but yeah, having a good, a good aerial, just show that off there. That was, that was my friend, the awesome bloody pirate for anybody who's on Telegram. He, uh, he sorted that all out for me. So, okay, so back to the panels. So your panels will run into, oh, stepping on a dog toy there. That'll make Alfie happy. The panels run to, this is the back of my caravan where I have opened this for you guys to show you to, this is a leisure battery and a solar charge controller. So you'll see with the solar charge controller, it's got, if I can focus my phone, it's got a picture of the panel at the moment, it's got underneath, you've got the sunlight and then that's giving how much amps, um, how many volts I'm getting, sorry. Um, so yeah, 14.6, 14.7, bright sunny day, two panels, that's fantastic. That's, uh, that's really, really good. So you need to always go and put your battery to your controller before you put your panels. Um, I have been told, I shall double check that before posting this video. Um, and then that goes, I'll show you to the inside of my caravan where I get all my electric out. So, sorry, please forgive the bumpy rather rather risky door of the little fairy corner. I oh, use my water storage, that's where I'm collecting my rainwater. So yeah, and then we go inside. So yeah, this is inside my caravan. Um, this is, this is, I'll show you guys a little bit as well, you know what? This is my lovely comfy bed. Underneath I have a massive storage area. Um, so I always lift that up to try and get rid of any damp. This did used to be a bathroom, um, but it's now a cupboard because I mean, I didn't really see taking up all that space for somewhere that you use like for, well, what you use a bathroom for. And uh, yeah, my fancy medieval hood who's, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think we should be brought back into fashion. <laughs> okay, so this is going towards my electrics again. Um, this is my CB radio, so switch that on. I'm upgrading this soon. Oh, there we go, that seems to be working. Need to turn the squelch down. But uh, um, yeah, I'll be upgrading that soon, so I've not like fixed it in and wired it in. But this is where my um, my solar comes out to. So I've got the battery at the back of the caravan, and that comes to this little awesome thing, which is basically what you can buy to where uh, to give yourself a few extra USB chargers, and it plugs into a car charger normally. So we just strip the wires down, and oh gosh, can I show you guys around here? Yep, so this just comes back here <laughs> and this is where the wires join. So this is a wire that comes from the leisure battery to the caravan and then that's the connection. And there was previously, it was just one of those um, those things that plugs into the car chargers, um, which is like this thing that's there basically. So yeah, that is, that is off-grid solar. Um, that is what I use. Um, I will try and answer any questions if anybody has any. 
But um, but yeah, radio communications and solar. Once you've got a panel and you've got a radio, then you're sorted with SHDF. That's great, right? Take care, guys.